All right, let's uh, let's see if this thing works here. Let's fire this thing up. I had to record this again because, uh, well, it was really crappy outside and it was really grainy and you couldn't see the uh, you couldn't see what was on the screen. So I'm hoping if I shoot this in HDR and the preview's not working, hopefully this works. Um, but uh, you guys asked for a video of the apps I've been using. Um, for some reason, it took a little bit longer to make this video because the configuration of my apps, well, one of my apps, it's got one more, Starting normal recording. Um, one of my apps lost its configuration for some reason, so it took a little bit to figure out how to get that to work again. Um, as you see how it's loading up here, um, I've changed it a little bit. Uh, we just got to come over here once. Um, I've changed it up a little bit now that I have uh, Torque on this side and Waze on this side. I used to do Amazon Music and then Waze, um, but recently Waze has incorporated... Um, oops, I should have pushed that, um, but that's alright. Uh, Waze has incorporated Amazon Music inside the app, which is really good. Uh, I'm still trying to tweak it so it can automatically load um, Amazon Music. Uh, but the app um, that I've... the apps that I've been using... Um, to get this layout, um, uh, this is this is the pop-up for the uh, Torque app. Um, but to get this layout, um, you know, Amazon, uh, not Amazon, Android has a lot of, some, it's something called launchers. And launchers change um, the way your phone or tablet look. Um, RSNav did a good job of creating uh, a stock-looking interface. Um, but I like this. I can do more. I can add widgets and stuff. And that app... That I use is called Nova Settings, or Nova. These, this is Nova Settings, um, but it's called Nova Launcher. I think it's like four or five bucks. I bought it years ago, and they keep constantly updating it. <clears throat> but within the software, you can create how big the icons are, how many um, how many columns you have, or how many rows. That also dictates how big the icons are, uh, the look and feel, like themes and stuff. Uh, pretty much. Uh, plethora of, of customization for the way that the interface is um, in general. Uh, this is my app, so this is how I have it set up with all my stuff. And you could change this layout to do swiping or other different... Uh, th there's just a million different ways of icons, round icons, shadows, no shadows, stuff like that. Uh, what's nice about this compared to the other uh, RS Nav app is you can do something like with widgets. Um, so if you want to do something with, let's say, I don't know, uh, news, you can come in here. Now you've got a, a news widget in here, and it will automatically load up. You can even uh, resize it, which typically you can't do that unless you have a, a special launcher. And you can move it over, and now you've got news that automatically pops up. Um, remove. So that's what gives me this look. Uh, with folders and other things like this. I do have other pages. This is kind of, I don't really do much with this page, kind of where stuff s stays for now for troubleshooting, but majority of the time this is where uh, I live. Um, so that gives me the look. Uh, for things to automate and do things on their own, uh, it's something called Tasker. Um, it's here, it's also an automated um, uh, automated. It's also a paid app. I'm hope hopefully you can see this when I filmed this earlier. Um, couldn't see the screen, but hopefully you can see it this time. Um, but um, this is what opens up uh, <clears throat> automatically uh, activates my hotspot upon you know when I turn the car on. Automatically opens up the hotspot and activates it. Uh, this is also does my split screen. Uh, if you can see this, hopefully you can. Uh, it says uh, load the torque app wait one second and toggle the split screen, wait one second and then launch Waze. And that's exactly what happens when I turn the car on, it does all this stuff and that's what automatically makes things happen. Um, this app is extremely powerful, it's only a few bucks, you can do a ton of stuff with this. Um, I'm just kinda dabbling into it, it's, it, there's a lot you can do, but this is, uh, you know, through some research, this is uh, what I ended up coming up with. So it's it's really nice to be able to just have that automated without being like I want to load this and then I want to load that and then you know um, so that's that that's that app. Uh, the other app that I, I've been working on uh, and actually in the other video, the one that I 
I'm redoing, I actually just realized the things I've been doing wrong. But uh, this, is, this is called it's called screens. And what this allows you to do is that you can have stuff on the left side or the right side, and then you create a shortcut. Uh, and, you know, maybe you want Amazon Alexa, and you want Amazon Shopping to load up. It would automatically do that when... Um, Alexa, cancel. <laughs> I've got one of those in my uh, garage. So it created a shortcut. And what's cool is it, I created this shortcut. So if, if you had the dual screen set up and, you know, you got out of it and you're browsing Amazon because you're waiting in line for something, but you want to get back to that dual screen, you want to get back to that dual screen, it's kind of a pain, right? You got to come over here, maybe hit this, drag it over here. And then find the app that you want, and kind of that you know it's kind of kind of a pain. I'd rather um, kind of do, and these can all be closed if you want. Um, I'd rather just hit a button and have it go. Uh, it, they need to be flip flopped, but I'd rather have it just load up exactly what I want. So that's that's one other app that I use um, to get that. Um, but those really are the three apps that I use. Uh, the other app that I'm, I'm working on and still kind of figuring out is called Auto Input. <clears throat> what this theoretically should do is it should um, allow, like when I go like this and it does does all this, it should, uh, you know, be able to be configured that I push this and I push open, uh, you know, Amazon Music. It will do that stuff automatically, um, but I'm still I'm still learning still learning that piece. Um, just so I can I can automatically play music as soon as I get in the car, without you know hit play start playlist. It will just do it automatically. Um, I could have just uh, showed you, you know, just listed off some apps, but I think it's a little bit easier if I actually showed you in a video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this. This is bright. It's dark in here. I've got the lights on, so hopefully it does work out. And preview is not working on my camera. Um, but yeah, these are the apps that I've been using, um, and they work pretty pretty good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that you know you guys would be interested in. And then if I did need to get to the other uh, menu, there's an icon for it. So I can just come over here, hit this icon, and now I'm in the uh, OEM RS Nav unit. But when I hit home, it will bring me right back to this stock launcher. Um, I will I'll put the list down uh, in the description uh, of the apps I use. Uh, I'll do my best to help you through Tasker because Tasker is pretty much a beast. There's a ton of stuff you can do in there. But if you're interested in the things that I have done, that's very easy. I can just show you what I do a screenshot and show you what I've done uh, to get these things to work. Um, but if yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll do my best. Hopefully this was help helpful. Have a good night.